So in this video, I'm going to be running through the QuickBook Technology Quick Entry Binding System. I'm just going to go into more detail about the advantages and disadvantages of it and why you would want it on your snowboard rather than the ratchets and ladders. Here's an aluminum prototype. I had these parts at CNC machine at a Tech Inc. So I just make, want to make a shout out to them real quick. Uh, it's really this really cool local place that does uh, CNC machining and all sorts of prototyping. Um, but yeah, basically, it's a binding system where you have a hook that hooks onto here, and you pull it over, and then the tension holds it shut. And you have this locking piece for a reassurance. So if somebody hits it on the lift, or maybe your sleeve catches it on a grab, or you fall off a rail and you hit this on a rail, um, it's not going to pop open. This also helps. Um, for if you want to put your board in a board bag or carry it around or do one-footed tricks, um, the tension holds it shut for the most part, but there's no, there's really no tension on it when you don't have your boot in there. So if you want to hold that down without it flapping around, you can have that lock piece holding it down and it'll stay put. But 99.9% .9 of the time, the tension holds it shut. So I'm just going to go through this real quick. See, here's your standard system. And by the way, like yeah, you can pull that back, but a lot of beginners sit down, so you can't pull that back. Um, one of the biggest inconveniences I find with this is that it's two parts on both sides. So when you go to step in, sometimes you step on that, and then you have to like readjust, and it can be a little bit annoying sometimes. And then when you go to crank it down, it just takes a while. I'm not gonna diss on the system. This system's great. It's been around for years. I like it more than all the other th other things um, on the market right now, but I just still didn't feel like it was uh, good enough for my standards. I wanted convenience, but I didn't want to sacrifice any response. So that's what this whole project, QuickBook Technology, was about. This binding, that's my binding system. As you can see, there's a loop on here, and I just want to make note that this strap is temporary. It is basically improvised because for the lack of you know resources I have. I do have a lot of resources, but just not enough to make this like a clamp. I want to eventually make it so you can just flip this open, adjust it, and then flip it back down, but I'm not there yet. But basically everything's on one side. You just pull this aside and find it open. You just pop your boot right in there. And then you open this up, hook it on, push it down, and that's it. So you adjust it once and then you're good to go, and then you just deal with the toe cap strap. Uh, you eventually make something with a toe cap strap, but not right now. So, once it's down, you don't have any adjustments on the fly, like with the ratchets and ladders. You can't pop it open if it bothers you on the lift, but what's really cool about this, what I found after using it, you don't get as many, like, pressure points. It's basically, I took a dead spot, the grass the ladder gives you like a dead spot right here on your foot. It's about, I don't know, a couple inches long. So I took that dead spot and I moved it all the way to the other side of the binding, all the way up to the side, and it's on a, like a pivot point. So basically, it maximizes flexibility, it reduces that dead spot to so basically just the, the screw and the hand clamp on the strap, and it gives you, it gives you like insane freedom move around, but it still gives you that response that you would need out of a, out of a binding to go uh, throw down your tricks and all that good stuff. So it gives you quicker entry. You don't have adjustments on the fly, but it eliminates that dead spot, and you can get them tighter because it doesn't work against the friction. If you look at ratchets and ladders, when you go to crank it down, it's working against the boot. There's friction all in here. There's friction, and you're pushing against the boot. But if you look at this, and it, if you hook it on, push it, look, it pulls it over first, and then it pushes it down. So what that does is it eliminates some of the friction that you get when you uh, use the ratchets and ladder system. So it allows you to get your binding tighter and it puts less wear and tear on your boots and on your straps because it basically pushes it over and around. So if you're taking like, if you're taking a bungee cord and you're trying to like tie something down, you wouldn't just pull it straight down, you pull it up and over. And that's kind of what this binding system is doing for you. 
so it helps it center on your foot better and it doesn't wiggle around as much. You can get more of a true feel out of your binding strap. To release it, so I didn't go over that yet, there's a lock piece underneath. So, but notice that if I hit this, if this is the release, this is the release part of it. If I hit this, it doesn't open because the tension's holding it shut. So this is just for reassurance. And then when you push that and pull open, that's when it opens. It's not gonna pop open until you do both. So it's like a, a two-part release. See, it's not coming up. When you hit this, pop it open. That's how you release it. It's a two-part release, so it's m it's gonna be more reliable than ratchets and ladders or your flow bindings or whatever, because it's not just one little thing that you hit. You have to push down and pull up. And it's super easy because this tab's really big, and it's kind of just you can see it just fits your hand correctly. So you just pop it open. And let's go to more technical detail on the parts here. Basically, most of the pressure is pushed upward onto this hinge because the way it holds it, it's at like an angle. The loop will be at an angle, so it's pushing up on that. And if you get if you get a closer look in here, I don't know how well this camera is going to capture it, but I put cross supports right in here. The screw goes here. There's cross. There's more support right here, and this is all resistance to bending. All these cross supports, and this one prevents the ring or the loop, I should say, from bending inward, which would cause your binding not to release. So yeah, if you look closely, when I crank this down. Again, there's going to be a little wiggle room because that loop is not perfect. If you look here, the loop aligns with the side of this so that it won't bend inward because that would prevent release. So basically once you're in, there's no way it's going to like bend in a way that you can't release it. And it's kind of awkward to release from this angle, but usually use your thumb for the tab and your boot's free. Just push that tab down and pull up. And if you care, this can also be used as a bottle opener. Uh, I don't know how not much people really care about that, but it can be used as a bottle opener if you need one, which is pretty cool. So that's Quick Flip Technology. I've done all the testing on it. I've ridden it on rails. I've done flips on it. I've done all sorts of spins on it. I trust it. Uh, I think once you guys maybe get to demo it, I can get some of you guys on it and testing it out. I think you'll like it as well. Yeah, that's Quick Flip Technology. Check it out.